here we go. Package has arrived for the S-Type. Pink tape covering up name and address and all that shit because apparently there are some fucking weirdos out there that uh, use that information. Don't ask me how. You turn up at my door, my 357 will sort you out. Yes, that's a 357 Magnum. And I won't hold back, believe me. So I'd suggest you choose another house to go to if you're that kind of weirdo. However, if you're just a normal person, this is what we go for. What have we got here? Ah, the condenser. The cork seal that goes on the bottom of the distributor. Nice new set of points. Ah, and the correct rotor. Note this is a lot, um, what I want to say is shorter, so it's not banging against the distributor cap. Unfortunately, they haven't sent me a distributor cap, so I need to find out why did I not order it. Oh dear. I have the coil too. Lovely coil. Oh, that's better. That is so much better with the screw in top. All right, great news. So I can get some of it done, but I can't finish it without the distributor cap. And I must admit, I've got to put hand on heart. I think I forgot to tell him I needed the cap as well. And I don't want to use the one that's in there because it is not in good condition. And I don't want to screw up everything we got. Ah, uh, that could be my mistake. So I will fess up if it was or maybe it's on a back order it could be on a back order uh, I can put these components in I can get everything pretty much ready but I do need the cap so uh, let me uh, deal with that and we'll be back all right uh, I've got some of the parts so I can put this distributor back together but I don't have the cap on here as I previously mentioned is a uh, air conditioning seal and I've got a nice piece of vacuum that uh, I found in my collection I have put oil down here and this now spins absolutely beautifully my ghast is flabbered as to how good it is next with the opening of the box here let's just start with the real simple thing of putting the cork seal on cork seal on uh, not seal on as in seal on tea but seal on Ceylon tea, my my. Gosh, those are the old good British days. Ceylon tea. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. oh, that is so tight. We are going to uh, have a quick change of plan here. Don't go away. Didn't go away, did you? If you did, you're going to miss all the exciting stuff. Now I may have to get another seal if I damage this one, but that's okay. One can do that. One has plenty of seals. Doesn't one? Yes, one does. Yep, didn't damage it. Right, let's get the cork seal on there now. Well, this is live, guys. I've never done this live before and um okay yeah that's where it goes so i'm i'm my brain was thinking then and it shouldn't do that because the clamp goes around here the cork seal goes there and now we can put on the rubber gotta put your rubbers on haven't you boys unless you want to get a nasty disease i get the lady up the duff up the club 
I was always the withdraw king myself. Never got myself caught out. All right, so we now have that on. Next, we will move on to getting the points on, getting them set, getting the condenser on, getting it connected. I'll see you on my vice. Oh, I have many vices, but this is a metal one. Right, this is uh, hopefully in focus. I haven't got a fucking clue because I can't see what it's seeing. Uh, this is the distributor on the S-Type. First thing to do is to put on the uh, the contacts, the new uh, contact points. Uh, part number JLM9520. Now, you need to obviously remove this screw here. With all its relevant washers, etc. Slip it over the pin here and screw in. I will show you the adjustment later, I promise. But do note here, you see there's a little notch here and a little notch there. That's where you put your screwdriver in and you twist it and that opens and closes the points. Clever little design, huh? Now, you will note that the pad here is still dry. I will be lubricating that before I put the car, or dis the distributor back together. Sorry if you're getting kind of a strange view here. I'm trying to do this up without a screwdriver. Why per qua? Cause between here and the camera lens is about six inches. And whilst I could, you know, fold my penis in half to measure that, it's very difficult because I want to get a screwdriver in there. And as you know, good old screwdriver, love to haven't got the time. So I'm just trying to <laughs> do this up. I'm going to get a screwdriver on it. I'm sorry, guys. And I'm going to use totally the wrong length type style screwdriver because I just want to get it spun down. Otherwise, I'm going to be wasting your guys' time. Next thing to do is to get the condenser on. So we undo this screw with its washer. Don't lose its washer. And the condenser is part number JLM9656. It's quite simple. Goes on here. And you're going to have to put up with my hand, I'm afraid. You gotta hand it to me. Did you got to? Okay. Now I need a Phillips. Me, me screw keeps spinning over. Don't you wish you tuned into a proper channel instead of mine? <laughs> okay, let me get my Phillips. And again, because of, oh, did you see that? Did you fucking well see that? You motherfucking son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off while I search. I'll be back. Well, fortunately it just landed all together now. So let me balance this in here. Mit der Screwdriver. See if I can get this baby in here without using a stubby. Yes, we've all got stubbies. Okay, now that's loose. I will tighten that up. But because of the screwdriver I'm using and the angle. Okay, now that has to come across to here. Only to discover 
Do not tight. One moment. So we're looking at a 5 16 on that. You can have to put up with my hands being in the way, and if you don't like it, well, that again is too bad. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. oh, talk about Murphy's Law. So now I have to suck me nuts. Everything is so fiddly, and my hands ain't the smallest in the world, that's for Erkin Shaw, as opposed to George Bernard Shaw. Ooh, that's a tight one, baby. And you bring this around. Make sure you get it there and not touching the center pin or screw thread. And then push it on. Get your nuts out. Spin your nuts down. Again, making sure you keep it on the plastic. If you do not keep it on the plastic, you are going to have a shitload of problems. You don't really want that, do you? Unless you're a bigger fool than I am. And that's pretty hard to imagine. So, again, tighten this up. Five sixteenths. Just a little bit more. Okay. So now we're good. This is good. That's good. That's got to be pinched up. That you do not really want to tighten up at the moment. Sorry, wrong screwdriver. Why, you say? Well, because you still need to adjust the points. Now, what you're going to do, you know, you can do it one or two ways here. Um, you're going to twist the shaft like this to open the points to their fullest extent. So right when it's on that point. Now, I can tell just by looking at that, they ain't nowhere near big enough. And what you would do is you get a screwdriver and you will put it in here and then you will twist one way or the other, depending on what you need to do. The screwdriver I'm using is unfortunately not really big enough, so forgive me, I'll be back. Again, inserting one's screwdriver in the hole, you can now twist and adjust to make the gap bigger or smaller. I'm sorry, the ice cream man is around. Ooh, mm, do like the ice creams. And then measure the gap here. Uh, and I believe it's 15th hour. Let me double check and I'll be right back. Right, so now we need to set the points to 15 thousandths of an inch. That's way too loose. So let me try and shrink it down. I'm just going to just make doubly sure. Hang on a second. I'll make sure I'm right on that point there. Hard to see while I'm filming it, but I think that's right on the point. Oh, and that gap is way too freaking big. So let me see if I can bring it in a bit. Okay, just brought it in a tad there. Nope, not enough, not enough, not enough. Keep adjusting. Let's check that now. Mm, close, but no cigar. Still. 
Still no cigar. Mm, a little too tight. Gotta get this right. Mm -mm -mm. This is fun. <laughs> Back and forth. Eventually you'll get it right, as I will. Oh, that's snug, but I'm still not quite happy. Sorry about the text in the background. Ah, went the wrong way there. Duh. Come back out, Gary. So she said to me last night. Oh, no, still too big. Yeah, I've had that said a few times. Ooh, not sure, hang on. That looks good. Let me see if I can pinch this up without it adjusting itself. And I'm only going to do the screwdriver at this funny angle because I've got the camera there. Ah. Okay, so now let me double check. I don't think that's right. No, look, I can't get it in there now. Damn it. God damn it, musky. So when I tightened up, it tightened up. So let's go back a tad. Oh, no, that's, no, that's not going to work, is it? Sorry, guys, if this is, uh, I want to say, wasting your time, but you got to know how important it is to get this gap right and then lock it off. Okay, we're good there. I'm going to try a different screwdriver, as the extra said to the bishop. Just to try and tighten this off. Purely because I can get a better angle with this kind of screwdriver. <sighs> okay, let's check it again. Check, check, and double check. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, baby, that is sweet. All right, so we've got the gap correct now at 15 thou. We've got this screw tightened down. We've got this nut, nut tightened up. Double check. Make sure you're not talking out your ass, which you often do. That's it. And you've got to be careful, because remember, you're squeezing down on plastic here. This screw is done up tight. That gap is right. That screw's done up tight. That's done. Everything is done. Next thing to do, last thing to do, next, last, next, last, next, last, is put the rotor on. Now, the rotor... I'll tell you what, get, get, don't, 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 don't go away. Now, this is the rotor I'm taking out, or have taken out, or are, are taking out. This is the new rotor. Look at the difference here. Hopefully this is still in focus. Between the centre and the end. And this piece on the end here. It's, it's different. The, uh, it's, this is not the right rotor. Crap. This is the right rotor. Done. Good done. Good done. Look at that. Lovely. Well, actually, it turns that way, so don't get confused. It does turn this way. So we are now ready to rock and roll as soon as I get the distributor cap. 
so tomorrow morning uh, I will put in this uh, distributor I've already marked it and you, you see these two little uh, yellow dots here that's because I marked it from where I was taking it out I didn't actually get it to top the top dead center in all honesty because I, I was just struggling to get it to that point so I thought right fine I'll take it out where it is and mark it because this particular one has an offset you can't get it in wrong as long as I get these marks lined up so then we'll be good to go just got to wait for the new uh, distributor cap and hands up it was my fault I forgot to order it bollocks is the word I'm going to use okay um yeah again this was a another short video <coughs> excuse me I've got a frog in my throat um shall I push it out do you want to see it I don't hear you one person said yes <laughs> so it's coming out beautiful yeah all right, guys, it's out. See you soon. Now, get out in that garage and do some shit.